Please keep the children quiet. They are mischievous owls. Please ask your wife to keep shut. She is not quiet. How? How is a very big question. Sri Krishna agrees with Arjun. No doubt it is very difficult, but it is not impossible. Abhyasena to Taumdeya. That also is very good. And Krishna should have explained. He might have explained elsewhere. What is the practice? Later commentators come and give the explanation. We find certain ways to silence the mind. One of the ways we shall try to do today. Mind is to be silenced. Barking dog is to be silenced. Quarrelsome wife is to be silenced. Lightning like the snake is to be silenced. What is the way? Take the torch, focus the light on the snake, it won't move. Take a piece of flesh to the barking dog, it will keep quiet. Buy a diamond necklace to your quarrelsome wife, she will be silent. There are ways, and one of the ways is Observe the mind. Observe the mind. When the mind is mischievous, observe it. In the examination hall, there is the mischief of copying, either from a piece of paper, or from a book, or from the neighbor. The invisilator is to be very agile. If he or she, the invisilator, is a little loose, sleepy, weak, or talking in the veranda, the students will copy. The nature of the student is to copy, mischievous. The nature of the child is to be mischievous. <coughs> the nature of the dog is to be barking. We must be vigilant. We must be strict. We must be observing the student so that there is no chance for the student to copy. We must sufficiently engage the devil so that it is not free to be mischievous. And for that, constant <laughs> resilience, absolute observation, pinpointed concentration, to see that the mischievous mind does not trouble us. This is one of the ways suggested by many sages, more so by Sri Ramana Maharshi of Tirvannamala. Only one way we are trying to discuss. Mind has the waves of thought mischievous. There is another part of the mind to be vigilant. Split the mind into two. When you sit in meditation, look at the thoughts. Mind is never free. Thought after thought is coming to the mind. And then close the eyes, observe the thoughts. What is the first thought? I am walking in the street. Beautiful girl comes. My mother is sick. The dog is barking, jumps from one thought to the other thought, illogically, irrelevantly, thoughts are jumping. And therefore, you try to keep a track, a record, a camera, invisilation to observe. It is like observing the thief. When the thief is mischievous, if you are very, very careful, spotting the light on his face, he cannot do the theft. Railway station in Majestic, Bangalore. It is always disturbed by a particular thief. He is very intelligent, very, very brisk, highly agile, and many rich travelers come to the platform, board the train, alight from the train, and the platform is very much crowded. 
when a rich man comes to the platform either to board the train or to come out of the train, this fellow will have a blade fixed to the three fingers. He will walk by the side of the rich man. The pocket is cut and the purse is lost. He will take it, throw it and enjoy it. Every day, at least 10 to 15 thefts are taking place in Bangalore railway station platform. <laughs> Travellers have formed a association, passengers association, and they made a complaint to the station master. However careful the station master is, however vigilant the station master is, he is unable to catch the thief to stop the theft. Then a complaint is made to the railway minister. He has appointed special police, but they are also not in a position to catch the thief. The mischief is going on, the thefts are going on, and nobody is able to catch the thief. Next, the complaint has been sent to the Prime Minister of India, who is very sharp, very intelligent. He said, I shall get a specially trained officer. The officer is trained in Scotland. You are a trained officer. He has selected a special IPS police officer trained abroad. And he asked, the Prime Minister asked the police officer, go to Bangalore Majestic Railway Station. For the past several days, there are complaints of theft one after the other. You must go there and catch the thief. Then the police officer sat near the computer, listened to the complaints, drew the picture of the thief, computer picture. The thief has come to know. A complaint has come to the Prime Minister, and an IPS officer is selected, and that officer is coming to Bangalore City Railway Station. He sat near the computer and he drew the picture of the IPS officer. The IPS officer had made a picture of the thief. The thief had made a picture of the police officer. From abroad, the police officer came to Delhi, took the necessary papers for investigation and vigilance. From there, he came to Bangalore. From Bangalore Airport Street, he went to the Majestic Railway Station and there is a long foot over bridge. He came in Mukti, <coughs> he selected a beautiful spot, folded his hands, already he has the picture of the thief, the fellow is there at a corner in the Majestic Railway Station. He spotted out the thief. The thief had already the picture of the police officer. He looked at the police officer. The police officer knows the thief. The thief knows the police officer. Police officer is busy, vigilantly looking at him. Every movement, he was looking. He was looking. Just like the torch is focused on the face of the snake, he was looking. Now it's a challenge to the police officer. It is a challenge to the thief. What is the challenge of the police officer? I must catch him red-handed. The moment he touches the pocket of the rich man with his fingers, I will take a snap. I will take the photograph. Tomorrow I have to prove it to the court of law. Court. Therefore, I must be very vigilant, he thought, and he will be available with the camera. Looking at him, and every movement is being recorded, and the thief looked at him. Hey, for several years, I have been committing the theft, and nobody has been strong enough to, skillful enough to catch me. Who is this young man? I shall show my mettle, I shall show my greatness, my skill. Under his very nose, I shall commit the theft. The thief is looking at the police officer. Police officer is looking at the thief. Morning 6 o'clock, both of them came to the duty. One to commit the theft, the other to catch the thief. And both were looking at each other. Morning 6, no coffee, no tea, 
no breakfast the thief thought i shall have my breakfast first and let us try next he went to the restaurant very good when the fellow is taking breakfast i shall also take breakfast and the police officer had him looking at him and the rest restaurant from there he was looking and he had breakfast same is the case with lunch evening tea and at night ten o'clock both of them were tired the thief thought today there is no chance for me to commit the theft lucky of the passengers Nobody is a victim. I am unable to commit steal the money. He went home. His wife received him very cash. Sorry, excuse me. Why? A new police officer, a smart man, has come and he has not allowed me. He is vigilantly looking at me. You idiot! They have married you simply because every day you are bringing one lakh of rupees. If you did not bring money tomorrow, I should go back to my mother's house. Don't worry. Tomorrow I should set him aside. Second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, one week हो गया. The thief was looking at the police officer. Police officer is looking at the thief. Both were looking at each other, and the platform is peaceful without the theft, without the mischief, without the mind making menace. The thief is in a corner. Police officer is in a corner. Platform is in between. Passengers are comfortable, concentrated, comfortable. Work is going on. Offices are smooth. Countries are friendly. Passengers are very, very happy. After one week, the wife lost all patience. It is already seven days, my dear husband. You have not been able to bring any money. I shall give you one week more time for you. If you do not succeed. I shall quit. Second week also the same story. Each looking at the other, and the passengers are very, very, very happy. The wife was told by the husband, as long as the smart police officer is seated there in the car, I am unable to commit the theft. Majestic station is useless. I am unable to have any money here. Let us go to Kandolmit. Because there is no police officer. One fine morning, this thief packed his baggage, shifted his residence, and moved to another railway station where there is no police officer. Second day, there was no theft. There was no thief in the majestic railway station. Police officer has no work. He looked at the man. He loved it. He had gone to move to the next railway station. He has no orders from the prime minister. Therefore, he is keeping quiet. He wrote a letter, prime minister, sir. The thief is no more here. He has shifted to some other place. What am I to do? All the passengers had a meeting. They resolved to congratulate the prime minister. Thank you very much, sir. When you have taken the duty of a prime minister, the platforms are very, very peaceful. We are able to be moving fearlessly, peacefully. Thank you, sir. And now, PM wrote a letter to the police officer. Thank you very much, my young boy. You are able to drive away the police uh, thief, but the thief is not there. Therefore. You are shifted to another railway station where the thief is. The platform is free from the thief, free from the police officer. What is that platform? Mind. The mind is disturbed by two people. One of the mischievous mind. When the mischievous mind is very very powerfully moving about, the vigilant mind is sleeping. If the vigilance is less. Mischief will be born if the invigilator in the examination hall is sleeping. Students will be copying. When you don't give that bait to the dog, it will be barking. When you don't take care of the others, they will be misbehaving. Therefore, vigilance is essential, and that vigilance. Is observation in our silent meditation. Don't do anything. 
sit quietly, welcome the thoughts, my dear thief, come on. Cannot move. Snake, come, unfocus the light, it cannot move about. Silencing the mind is possible when you focus your attention, focus your vigilance, keep your concentrated observation. You need not do anything. Ramana she beautifully analyzes. Don't do anything. See, you are getting beautiful thoughts and clean thoughts too. Look at the devil. You try to make a record. You try to make a track, keep a track. First thought, second thought. After some time, when you are very resilient, the thoughts fail to come up. Thief does not come up. You engage the man to be silent. Keep him under silence with your vigilance. This vigilance is spoken of. By practice, O oh, the son of Kunti Devi Arjun, O oh, my dear young man, having been a participant or a trainee in Vaishi in Mangal Mandir, try to get engaged. Be under the surveillance of the CCTV. Keep your mind very powerful. Focus your attention on the uprising thoughts. Thoughts will not come. If uh, you are traveling by a train, there will be somebody sitting in front of you. Maybe a beautiful girl, maybe a handsome man. You try to look at his eyes or her eyes, not angrily, not ferociously, not frowning, just to be looking at the face and the eyes. After half a minute, he will turn his head that's it. He cannot have the courage to look back seriously. Our strong will, our resilience will divert his attention, silence his attention. He cannot look at it. This is a very simple experience. In the classroom, when the teacher is talking, speaking, boys will look at the girl. Girls will look at the boys. And they go on talking to each other, cooperation between the two. If one is very vigorous, the other changes the method. The vigilance officer, the observing mind must be smart. Smarter than the thinking mind. Smarter than the mischievous mind. That is in our hands. Split the mind into two when you sit in meditation. Hold it. Look at it. And this observation, observance will take you to the top in concentration. After some time, when the thoughts are totally silenced, there is no need for the observation. Mind will be still, sea will be calm, road will be smooth, and you can do your work. It's a very simple technique. Every day, morning, half an hour, evening, half an hour, you need not sit in Padmasana. When you are lying in the bed, when you are traveling, wherever we are, we can just close the eyes and observe the thoughts, movement of the thoughts. Automatically, thoughts recede. They become silent. And after silencing the mind and the thought waves, the observation also, that blankness, that calmness is a place. It is composed. It is a still. It is salubrious, it is capable of elevating to a great height. Let us, by the grace of God Almighty, follow this practice of observing the thoughts. It will give us wonderful solace. May we now try to practice it for half a minute.